You know, Oak Island is more than a treasure hunt. There's a story here. And the research might help tell the other half of the story. No, I agree. Rick and Marty Lagina's nephews, Peter and David Fernetti, along with Charles Markhouse, are traveling some 50 miles northeast to Dawson's print shop in Halifax, Nova Scotia. They will be meeting with rare documents and artifacts expert, Joe Landry, to get his analysis on the piece of leather discovered just one day ago in the spoils that were excavated from the money pit by Robert Dunfield back in 1965. Leather is always important for many of these holes because it can be dated. It was used for a couple years, maybe, I mean, at the outside, 10. So if it comes back with a, pardon the pun, concrete date, it's probably going to be accurate. And if it's old, and old enough, could have been used in the original digging of the money pit. Right here, guys. So it's something we have to get an expert to look at. Hi, Joe. Hi, guys. Hi, nice to see you again. Guys, this is Joe Landry. Hi. This is Peter Finetti and David Finetti. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. So we were exploring um, to the west of the Money Pit area, and we found something interesting. And in this area, just to give you a little bit of context, there's belief that this area had spoil piles that may be from the original Money Pit. So as they were digging, they found this piece of leather. Yeah. I kind of want to know what your take is on it. Bit of a shoe sole here. Looks like the uh, oak bark tan leather. So when you say uh, that tanning, what do you mean by that? The, yeah, the process is they, they take bark from an oak tree and, and make an emulsion that they can soak the leather in. And the, uh, the leather absorbs the tannin from this emulsion and uh, that preserves the leather. And uh, it takes them a full year to tan this. Okay. Mm. Makes quite a strong leather, well-wearing leather, and was particularly sought after for the soles of shoes and boots. Just to give you an idea of what it looked like, probably, you know, when it was tanned, it was sort of this lighter color. But once this gets wet, it gets much darker. And if it's wet and put under pressure, it can get very dark, even black. And, uh, you know, obviously, if it was underground, it was under a certain amount of pressure. You mentioned that it's oak tanning. When was oak tanning done? Well, it was started uh, in the uh, medieval period, you know, about uh, 1235 or so. You know, Joe, we're getting some different date ranges in the Money Pit area. And one in particular was 1488 to 1650. Is it possible that this could relate to that? You know, it could quite easily fit within that period. Wow. What type of people wore this type of shoe? It's difficult to say for what's left here exactly what style this was. It looks to be a sole from an officer's boot rather than a heavy duty workman's boot. What makes you say that? Well, it's the shape mainly. It looks like it was quite a nicely cut and shaped boot. You know, with a good taper here and here. A potential fragment from a military officer's boot discovered in the Dunfield spoils? Oh. Yeah, what is that? Looks like leather almost. It for sure looks like leather. One year ago, the team recovered the sole of a fine leather boot in spoils they excavated in the Money Pit area that was carbon dated to as early as 1492. It's a refined design. If Joe Landry is correct in his assessment, could that mean that the two artifacts are related? Bring it together. And could it also offer hope that the team is digging in a location where something of even greater value lies buried? So you, you've talked about the oak tanning as a way to somewhat date this, and maybe you can't tell us just from looking at it, but are there any other tests that could be done or any other avenues that we could take in order to try and get a, a better date? Well, yeah, you could try to see if if they'd used anything to, to dye the leather because that, that kind of locks in the date as well. Yeah, it'd be great. We need to press the envelope every time we make a find such as this to apply science, technology, and expertise to try to understand it. And not just what it is and when was it made, 
There are other questions. Is there a cultural influence? Is there some type of science that we're currently unaware of that can be brought to bear? Are there other experts we can ask? So there's a lot of things to do, and that is what we are in the process of doing. I want to thank you for everything that you've done today and pointed us in the right direction to how to proceed. You're welcome. I enjoyed the chance to look at this material. It's not something we see a lot of in Canada or Nova Scotia, so it's a real treat. We'll take this information back to the guys and let them know, and hopefully we'll get some testing, and we'll let you know if anything evolves from this. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. You're a wealth of information. Take care.